Slide calipers have become popular in recent years and are useful for making accurate measurements. Calipers consist of a number of parts. In this presentation, we will focus on battery-operated digital calipers. The body is made up of a sliding rule. Calipers have outside measurement jaws and inside measurement jaws. They feature a liquid crystal display known as the LCD. Next to it is a thumb wheel for sliding the ruler and a depth measuring blade. Most calipers have a locking screw to hold the jaws in a fixed position. Depending on the manufacturer, the LCD may or may not have an on-off button. Typically, digital calipers have a button which allows the user to toggle between decimal inches and millimeters. In addition, it should be equipped with a zero button to reset the display to zero. To make an outside measurement, slide the jaws open and place the item to measure between the outside measurement jaws. Slide the jaws together until they gently contact the item. Read the measurement on the LCD screen. To make an internal measurement, slide the jaws closed and place the inside measurement jaws inside the item to measure. Slide the jaws open until they gently contact the item. Read the measurement on the LCD screen. To make a step measurement, slide the jaws apart and rest the head of the moving jaw on the lower step. Continue sliding the jaws apart until you can rest the head of the stationary jaw on the top of the upper step. Read the measurement on the LCD screen. To make a depth measurement, rest the end of the sliding ruler on the edge of the hole to measure. Slide the jaws open until the depth measuring blade gently contacts the bottom of the hole. Read the LCD screen. Finding the center distance between the centers of two holes requires a two-step procedure. First, using the inside measurement jaws, measure the inside diameter of one of the holes. Press the zero button while the caliper is opened to the hole diameter. Remove the jaws from the hole and slide the caliper so that the inside measurement jaws have gentle contact with the far sides of the two holes. The measurement displayed is the distance between the centers of the two holes. Alternatively, you can subtract the radius or diameter of the hole from the overall measurement, depending on whether you are measuring center lines between holes or the distance from the center of a hole to the edge of the board. One of the most common mistakes is to put significant pressure on the jaws when measuring. Be gentle, especially when measuring wood, which can deform under pressure, causing inaccurate readings. Another common mistake is not holding the caliper square to the object being measured. Finally, make a habit of storing calipers with their jaws slightly open to prevent damage to them. The accuracy of calipers depends on how they are handled and maintained. In the work environment, Use a case to protect the caliper. The jaws can easily be damaged by contacting other tools. Displays can be broken. Always check calipers before making measurements to ensure the jaws are not damaged and the reading is zero when they are closed. Use the zero button to reset the caliper if it is not reading correctly. Batteries will need to be replaced when the display gets weak. Slide the cover off the LCD to access most batteries. While digital calipers have become very affordable in recent years, there are a number of similar products used for measuring which you should be familiar with. Snap calipers are similar to digital calipers, but tend to give more reliable readings because pressure is supplied by a spring, which maintains more consistent pressure. Dial calipers are handy because they don't require batteries, but in a dusty environment, chips can cause the gears to skip. Vernier calipers are the most accurate, but they are difficult to read and don't allow the user to move back and forth from inches to millimeters. Properly used and maintained, 
calipers provide the ability to quickly and accurately measure materials.